All right, our correspondent from Spain, Catherine Ferrer, files this report on why an increasing number of Spain's youth are going back to school. Spain's jobless numbers fell in June, but the new figures unceasingly adjusted and had a still growing crisis. With youth unemployment now over 50%, many are returning to the classroom in an attempt to get more qualifications. Victor and Felipe are in their 20s, but they're going back to school at Madrid's Odrut Education Center. They didn't finish their education first time around. There was no need to walk straight into well-paid jobs in construction. More and more of Spain's youth are choosing to study or retrain to improve their job prospects. 20,000 are in older education in Madrid alone. Eurostat figures for May put unemployment among the under 25s at 56.5%, close to Greece 59%. There was a 2.6% falling over all jobless totals last month to 4.76 million. But only because the figures were seasonally adjusted and summer holidays jobs are at a peak. If they had been, it would be up by almost 1,000. Ahora mismo esté estudiando y cuando termine pienso hacer unos cursos porque tal y como están las cosas las empresas no cogen a los jóvenes por eso lo que hay que hacer ahora es estudiar para tener un plus en el futuro. En mi caso ahora mismo estoy arreglando los papeles para el curso que viene no encuentro trabajo por eso lo mejor que puedo hacer es estudiar más. Así, cuando mejore el tema del trabajo y la economía en España, podré optar a un mejor puesto. 17 members of the Eurozone have higher unemployment rates than a year ago, while 10 have lower rates. Economists had forecast an even higher rate of 12.3% for May in a Reuters poll. They warned the jobless crisis could get worse before it gets better. Reporting from Madrid, Spain, this is Catherine Ferrer for Eagle News Evening Edition.